there and welcome to another episode of Pantry Clips. I'm Edna from the Community Kitchen at the Nourish and Develop Foundation and today we have again a super easy recipe for you um, that's great in the in the fall or winter. Um, it, you just put it on the stove and, and sort of forget about it for 20 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes and then you've got a really hearty healthy um, dish to have in those uh, in those cold months. So we're gonna start, um, I've got my burner, I've got a pot, I'm gonna start with a little bit of olive oil, um, just as you wish. The recipe says you can use water as well if you're trying to reduce oil, um, but I prefer to cook with olive oil, so I'm, I'm using that today. Um, and I also have uh, some red onion that I've chopped up. You can use white onion, um, whatever, whatever, you, whatever you'd like. Um, you can hear that my, my uh, pot is a little, it's already a little warm, so it's sizzling. And I don't want to brown the onions, I just want to soften them a little bit. Um, so I'm going to do that. When you're adding garlic to a dish like this, you want to make sure that you add it a little bit later. Um, if you add it right now and the, pot, the pan is really sizzling, you can often get the flavor of burnt garlic, and we definitely don't want to have that. So I'm just going to uh, stir this around so they, the onions soften. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fry my spices a little bit um, because the spices will sort of come alive when you uh, put them with heat and a little bit of oil and it makes them really, really fragrant. And right away, whoever is in your house and is smelling you cooking this will say, oh my goodness, I want to eat that. So we've got some chili powder, whatever brand you like. Um, there's all sorts. There's ones with a really smoky flavor. There's uh, generic, no-name brands. There's all sorts of specialty ones, whatever one that you really like. About a tablespoon and a half. I'm going to put that into the pan, and I'm going to stir that around a little bit. I'm also going to add some ground cumin. Um, cumin is one of the components of the chili powder, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's got a really beautiful, fragrant um, smell and taste. So it's uh, a, a big component of a chili or this kind of stew. Um, I've got some onion and garlic powder that I'm going to add. Um, it's just to jazz it up a little bit. I am going to use the fresh garlic in a moment, um, but this just gives uh, the mixture a really nice depth of flavor because we're using beans and tomatoes and sweet potatoes. So we want to make sure that the broth and everything is really flavorful so it'll be absorbed into the mixture. And then I'm going to use some oregano. Uh, so I'm just going to lightly saute those things just to, as I say, just to bring the smells of the spices to the forefront. And then I'm gonna add my garlic. Um, the recipe calls for two to three cloves, it's up to you. I think I might have chopped four here because I'm quite a garlic fan. So I might have minced four. Okay, so I'm just gonna lightly combine that. And to that mixture, I'm going to add some finely chopped tomato. So your recipe calls for fire roasted tomatoes. Fire roasted tomatoes are really, really delicious. Um, but there's only a few brands that make them. So you can't always find them at your local grocery store. Um, I quite like these uh, Elmer Secrets or Elmer Accents that's garlic and olive oil. There's a couple of other brands that have them as well. They're really finely diced tomatoes, which is nice so you don't get great big chunks of diced. Um, and it has olive oil and garlic already in it, so you're adding another layer of flavor when you put this in. So that's going to bring together the spices and the onions and the garlic and give it a little bit of a... make it into a little bit of a paste at the bottom of the pan. The great thing about this recipe, you throw it all in um, and you don't have to... Uh, uh, it's just one thing after the other. You don't have to wait and add something in 20 minutes. Um, I have uh, diced some washed 
and diced, but I did not peel my sweet potatoes. I like the skins on the sweet potatoes and it's additional fiber. Um, so I keep it on. As long as you scrub them well, you can certainly use the skins. Um, so I'm adding that to my mixture. That was two small sweet potatoes. You can use one large, two small, whatever you like. If you really like sweet potato, you can pump it up a little bit and add a little more. And then I've got two cans of rinsed and drained uh, black beans. We don't, I personally don't, don't like to use the liquid that's in the black beans um, because it's very, very salty and I'd rather add salt to my dish as necessary. So I rinse that, uh, that thick mixture off and I like to create my own mixture with the uh, ingredients that I'm using. So I'm going to put my beans in. The beans are already cooked. That's the great thing about getting them from the can. Uh, you could make this if you wanted to soak dry beans. Um, but it would take considerably longer. You'd have to start soaking your beans the night before. So if you had a few dishes that you wanted to make with black beans, um, it would be a great idea to soak some the night before, cook them off, and then divide them up and use them for the different purposes. To bring this, to lighten this up a little bit, because it's quite chunky, quite chunky and stew-like, we need to add some liquid. So uh, we're keeping this vegetarian today. Uh, you don't have to do that, um, but I've got some veggie stock. The Tetra Packs are a really nice way to, um, have, to, to have stock on hand. Um, they last for about a week in the fridge once you open them, but if you feel that you're going past that date, you can actually put them into a Ziploc bag and freeze the, the, uh, the balance of the stock and just label it in your fridge and when you need some, when you're doing a soup or something, you just take it out, throw it into your pot and, um, and use it at will. Um, so this particular one, there's a few different ones. You can get uh, full salted, you can get reduced salt, and you can get salt free. Again, I like to control the salt that's in my food. So um, I bought actually the no salt added uh, stock today. But if you, um, if you can't find that or you don't want to use that, just taste it before you season it um, to make sure that it's not too, too salty. So I want about half of this container. And then I'm going to give that a little stir. So I've added my vegetable stock. Um, I want to thicken it just a tiny bit and give it extra tomato flavor. Uh, so I'm going to use some tomato paste. Um, add, you know, Add and taste, add and taste. You don't necessarily, uh, you can't take the flavors away if you put them in, uh, but you can certainly add some more. So I wanna make sure that this is a nice tomatoey base uh, that goes together with the chili flavors and all of that. So I am fairly comfortable with that amount, which was about three quarters of the container of tomato paste. And then I'm going to season lightly with salt and pepper. And then in the end, when it comes time to um, actually uh, serving, we'll give another little taste and we'll season as we need. Okay, so this is the part where we, we let it be. Uh, we let it come to a, a simmer. You don't want it in a rolling boil. Uh, you just want a nice little simmer. Um, and when the sweet potatoes are cooked, your little stew chili is ready to be served. So we'll, we'll come back when we're ready to go. minutes have gone by. Our sweet potatoes are thoroughly cooked but still solid, which is what you want. You don't really want them to break down in the pot. And everything is ready. So uh, you want to taste and season if needed. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and serve a bowl of this, chew, of this stew or chili, whatever you decide you want to, to call it. So that's what the sweet potato and the black beans look like. I really like to dress it up with a little something. So I'm going to use a little bit of Greek yogurt. If you've got sour cream, that's a great thing to use. I'm just going to put a little dollop of that in the middle. And then I'm going to use 
some avocado. And a little bit of cilantro to garnish. You can use that or not use that. It's thoroughly up to you. Uh, but I find it enhances the flavor. If you've got a little lime juice, that's always a nice thing too. Just squeeze a little bit of that on. Um, this will last easily five, five or six days in the fridge. Freezes beautifully. Um, another way I like to eat it is with, uh, I use it as a breakfast food with um, a fried egg on top, and it's amazing. Um, just like that, very, very hearty breakfast. So I hope you'll think about using this uh, recipe. Um, it's, uh, it's super simple. It's using pantry items. If you wanted to add meat, you could certainly add some meat, and I think any of the like the ground chickens or turkeys or, or beef would be great with it. Uh, but it makes a really delicious vegetarian meal loaded with vegetables um, and nutrition. So I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for joining us.